Well, I've just finished my, um, I just did 33 k's at Glenmore Trail. Um, yesterday I did 58 k's at Moose Mountain. Did um, four times up there. So that was that this weekend's training. I'm just sitting in the car cooling down with the air conditioning going before I go to gym to do weights. So this vlog this time is, I'm just gonna show you sort of what I do for a week. I'll just go through what I do for a week's training generally. Monday is an easy day, 10k. Sometimes I'll take a rest day. I generally don't plan my rest days that often unless it's before a race. Um, but a rest day I might wake up in the morning and feel like no, I, I can't run today. So I'll um, just switch the alarm off, reset it and go back to sleep. Um, but generally, so Mondays is like an easy 10k. Then Tuesday I go to the gym um, and I'll do interval work on the treadmill. Back in Australia, I used to do interval work on the streets, and I think now that the weather's improving, I can do that. But I'm quite, I'm finding I quite enjoy the interval work on the treadmill. It keeps me more honest. Um, and then I'll do weights. Sometimes I'll do something Tuesday after work, but generally not. Wednesdays I generally run to and from work, so that's I do a bit longer on the way there. So that's about 30 to 31 k's I end up doing. Then. Um, <clears throat> So that's morning and afternoon, obviously. Then Thursday, I'll do like a tempo on the treadmill, but once again, I should probably start doing that off road because I like, or on the road, because I like doing it more on rolling hills um, because that helps build strength. Then I also do weights. And then sometimes Thursday after work, I might do some, find some stairs and do some stair or hill reps or, um, do hiking on the treadmill because Calgary is just so flat there's no hills back in Melbourne I would have found a hill and done some hills but there's there's not really anything here um, so that's Thursday and then Friday is generally an easy 10k um, maybe 15 if I'm feeling motivated um, and then Saturday is a long run and Sunday normally backed up with another long run like I did this weekend I did lots of hills lots of vert yesterday to just over 2100 meters climbing and then today flat 33k which nearly killed me um, only because it was hard work um, and yeah so I like to do that back it up and try to push a little bit but I was I kind of bonked a bit as in I didn't overfeed for this run for this 30k I only had like a, a little bit of a muesli bar that was left from yesterday that I hadn't finished and half of it broke off and fell on the ground anyway and I just thought I'd prefer not to eat. You know, personally, I don't like the food that you eat when you run, generally. Norm, you know, because I can't even have, like, Vegemite sandwiches because I'm, I'm intolerant to the gluten here in Canada and the gluten-free bread, I might as well just be eating cardboard. So that's what I would normally have eaten in Australia is, you know, a wrap with Vegemite and butter or a sandwich, but I, I can't here. And I don't like eating all the sugary bars. So then it's, I just end up having nothing which is fine. Um, so that's a basic week of training. So what I'm going to be showing you now in the <coughs> video is just just a hybrid of things that I'll have done. Mornings, you know, getting up, going to training, and what it's like running on in the dark, the streets of the area that I live in. Just a little bit of snippet of my week's training, just during the week though, not the weekend. I've shown you lots of weekend stuff. Yeah, um, so I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.